Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for 6th graders. Our concept is numerical expressions. This is part 1. Remember 6th graders, if you are always trying to be normal, you may never know how amazing you can be. We have our 6th grade Star Math Review Workbook available for purchase in our store. The link is in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and press the like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also spread the word about Hype Math. We greatly appreciate your support. Let's dive in and let's talk about prime factorization. It is a way of expressing a number as a product of its prime factors. And remember, prime factors is where the only numbers that are factors are one and the number. So let's look at the tree method on the left-hand side. We are finding the prime factorization for 84. So we have two times 42, which is equal to 84. Now, since two is a prime factor, we are going to focus on 42. Two times 21 is equal to 42. So again, two is a prime factor. That is why it's circle. Now let's focus on 21. Three times seven is 21. And so my prime factorization for 84 is two times two times three times seven. Now, some ways you will see it because I have two times two, it will be two squared times three times seven, which is the same thing. The exponent two means that I need to multiply two by itself two times. Now let's look at the latter method. All I'm doing is finding out what number can divide into 84 and that's a prime factor. And you always want to try to start off with the prime factor if you can. If you can't remember, then it's okay to start with whatever numbers you have and then go from there, continuing to dig down until you get the prime factors. So we know that two can go into 84. So 84 divided by two is equal to 42. We know that two is a prime factor of 42. 42 divided by 2 is equal to 21. And now for 21, my two factors are 3 and 7. They are both prime numbers. So again, the prime factorization of 84 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. Let's also talk about exponents because we saw one with 2 squared. An exponent shows how many times a number called the base is used as a factor. So we see that on the left-hand side, we have a chart. It shows expanded form a times a, and then in exponent form, it's a squared, and that's similar to what we had with our 2 squared. And we continue on a times a, a times a, that's a to the third power or a cubed, and then a times a times a times a is a to the fourth power. Now looking on the right hand side, we break down and we show what our base is, which is 10, and the exponent is five. That means I am multiplying 10 by itself five times. So it's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. And that is equal to 100,000. Let's dive into our problem. And remember, we have our workbook for sale so that you can follow along in your workbook. Number 21 says, Mr. Gonzalez showed students part of the prime factorization of 90. One factor is missing. What number completes this prime factorization? So in order to solve this problem, the first thing I'm going to do is ask myself, what am I looking for? And I am looking for the number that completes the prime factorization of 90. Now that I know that, what information can help me find the answer? And it's looking for the prime factorization of 90. Now, we already know two of the numbers, really three of the numbers, um, we have two times three squared or two times three times three, but we write three squared, okay? 
and we are looking for that last number. Now that we know the information we're looking for, how are we going to solve the problem? And again, it's finding the prime factorization of 90. So let's do that now. Using the ladder method, we are starting off with 2, because we already know that that's part of the example we're given. 2 divided into 90 is equal to 45. And then we have 3 divided into 45 is equal to 15. And the two factors of 15 that are prime are three and five. So my prime factorization of 90 is two times three times three times five, or two times three squared times five. So what is our correct answer? Yes, it is five. That is the number that was missing in our prime factorization. Five, again, is the correct answer. And that is it, sixth graders, for our part one of reviewing numerical expressions. Remember, we have our sixth grade star math review workbook available for purchase. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you later.